In the teachings of Christianity, Jesus is often portrayed as a compassionate and forgiving figure, welcoming all who seek him with open arms. However, Jesus was not narrow-minded when it came to certain sins, overlooking all others because of one particular transgression. The concept of sin in Christianity is complex and multifaceted. It is often defined as any thought, action, or behavior that goes against the will and commands of God. In the Bible, sin is described as the root of all evil and evil and the cause of separation between mankind and God. Part of the problem is that we, as Christians, need to understand and accept the fact that America will never have a politician who will have all of their policies biblically based because this is not a Christian nation. It never was. And so how could an elected president of the United States of America place their hand on a Bible or take an oath declaring that he or she will be a president representing all the people of the United States, looking out for the well-being of all of its citizens while seeking to outcast those who may not believe as they did. Yet, some of those people even supported it. Christian nationalists often claim that the United States was founded to be a Christian nation. Even some politicians agree. But if the people who make this assertion are merely saying that most Americans are Christians, I would agree with it. But those who argue that America is a Christian nation usually mean something more uh, 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 governmental. They usually mean that, uh, or insist rather, that the country should officially be Christian. Religious extremists and their allies insist that the United States was designed to be officially Christian and that our law should enforce the doctrines of at least their version of Christianity. 